We are discussing many, many important things, including, obviously, uh, North Korea, the relationships with North Korea. Uh, I had, in many respects, a very good meeting. Uh, we did not fulfill what we wanted to, but in many ways, we — certain things were agreed to. Uh, my relationship is very good with, as you know, Chairman Kim, and I think that uh, it will go on that way. We'll see. We'll probably know, but we'll be discussing that. We'll be discussing trade, uh, military, military purchases. South Korea buys a great deal of equipment from us, especially military equipment. Please, go ahead. I think I can say that our relationship has never been better. Our relationship is, on a personal basis, very, very close. Uh, First ladies, likewise, extremely close. And I think that uh, that will continue for a long time into the future, forever. The question was, uh, if uh, North Korea actually submits a, a roadmap regarding complete denuclearization, uh, are you two, uh, the two presidents, will you be uh, uh, discussing this issue at the summit meeting today? Yes, we will. We will be discussing it. Certainly, that's a very prime topic for our meeting today, and we hope that's going to happen. Yes. Is your position still that sanctions should stay in place on North Korea until there is denuclearization, or are you willing to consider easing sanctions to keep the talks going? No, we want sanctions to remain in place, and frankly, I had the option of significantly increasing them. I didn't want to do that because of my relationship with Kim Jong-un. I did not want to do that. I didn't think it was necessary. As you know, a couple of weeks ago, I held it back. But I think that sanctions are uh, right now at a level that's a fair level. And I, I really believe something very significant is going to happen. We could always increase them, but I didn't want to do that at this time. Well, in this sense, I believe that uh, the Hanoi summit is not actually was not a source of disappointment, but it is actually the part of a big, bigger process that will lead us to a bigger agreement. 그래서 이제 에, 그 중요한 것은 어, 대화의 모멘텀을 계속 유지시켜 나가고 또 가까운 시일 내에 uh, so the important task that we have faced right now is to maintain the momentum of dialogue and uh, also express uh, the, uh, the positive uh, outlook regarding the third uh, U.S.-North Korea summit uh, uh, to the international community that this will be held in the near future. <coughs> Uh, so, in this regard, uh, I'd like to express my high regard for how uh, you have continued to express your trust towards Chairman Kim, and also uh, you have made sure uh, that North Korea does not deviate from the dialogue track. I'd like to uh, express my gratitude for this. 우리 한국은 미국과 함께 북한의 완전한 비핵화의 최종적인 상태, 그 비핵화의 목표에 대해서 완벽하게 동일한 생각을 가지고 있고, 그 다음에 또 비실 틈 없는 그런 공조로 완전히 문제가 끝날 때까지 공조해 나갈 것이라는 것을 약속드리겠습니다. And uh, let me reiterate that uh, the Republic of Korea is very absolutely on the same page when it comes to the end state of the complete denuclearization of North Korea. And I, I can reassure you uh, that we will uh, remain in, uh, in uh, such great collaboration with the United States. There will be no daylight until we achieve our uh, ultimate goal. Uh, my relationship with Kim Jong-un has been uh, a very strong relationship. I've had some very strong relationships with others, but I have a very, very good relationship with Kim Jong-un, and I think you see that. And we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully, it'll 
end up in a great solution for everybody and ultimately a great solution for the world. Because it is about the world. It's more than just this area. It's about the world. And uh, frankly, the world is watching.